If you use a Bosch pressure sensor, a BME 280, or a, and you'll find that there's an offset depending on your altitude, pressure value from it. I think one of the best ways of getting a calibration value is to get a, the current air pressure in your area from a METAR station. That's a meteorological aviation report. These are very accurate and they're used by aircraft to set altitude level. So find a METAR station, get a pressure value for area and adjust your result. The first thing to do is to find a METAR station. So I'm going to use an example of Paris. All you need to do is to Google METAR Paris and you'll get a result like on the left hand side from the METAR station. And you can see that the current air pressure at that airfield is 1018 hectopascal and the red dots denote other METAR stations and there are literally thousands around the world. So very accurate. So the first thing to do is to get the pressure values and get an average. So in this example here I've taken three airfields, Charles de Gaulle Airport, Paris Le Bourget and Paris Orly and you'll see the pressure varies a little bit between the three but the average for that area is 118.3 hectopascal. So now we need to adjust the result from the sense because we live in Paris in this example. So the first thing we need to do now is to get a reading from the sensor. So that's the line float pressure equals BME dot read pressure divided by 100 to get the result in hectopascal. And the result from my particular sensor is 1013 hectopascal. So the difference between my sensor and the average air pressure around me is 118.33 minus 113 is 5.33. So now we just need to add that constant offset to that particular sensor for this particular location. And now I get a result of pressure equals 1018.33 hectopascal or whichever units you'll use in your part of the world. And that's how you can calibrate the uh, the sensor. In summary then, calibrating the sensor gives you uh, valid results. Of course, everyone needs to get valid results. It, but it only applies to your location and altitude. And it's based on an average of surrounding very accurate METAR stations. But it needs to only to be an approximation. Uh, and you can monitor it over time. Check the offset is remaining constant and uh, ideally check when there's a uniform air pressure across your region and that happens frequently and although it's not strictly required for most applications it is definitely useful to do so hope you found that useful i hope you found this technical note interesting and useful 